In this first example, we are given the length, the width, and the height of this rectangular prism, and we are being asked to find its total area. The formula for total area of a rectangular prism can be expressed in this way. Area total is equal to 2 times the total of length times width plus length times height plus width times height. If I start plugging in these values, I get area total is equal to 2 times L times W gives length times width, which is 8 times 2, plus LH is length times height, which is 8 times 3, plus WH is width times height, which is 2 times 3. Now let's simplify. 8 times 2 is 16. 8 times 3 is 24. 2 times 3 is 6. 16 plus 24 plus 6 is 46. And 2 times 46 is 92. In this example, I am given the length and the width and the total area, and I am being asked for the height of this rectangular prism. Plugging the numbers that I am given into the formula, 48 goes in the AT position, LW is length times width, which is 5 times 2, LH is length times height, which we have to express as 5x, because we don't know the height. WH is width times height, which we express as 2x. And now, simplifying, 5 times 2 is 10, and 5x plus 2x is 7x. Two times 10 is 20. Two times seven X is 14 X. If we move the 20 to the other side, we get 28. And now when we divide both sides by 14, these cancel, our X is isolated. 28 divided by 14 is two and we have found our missing height. It happens to be the same as the width this time. And since we were working with millimeters and millimeters squared, this missing height will be given in millimeters.